Produce is a software that we can use to create the schematics and PCB designs. In this video, we're going to share you how to put 5 volt supply and ground on your schematics. We'll also include topics on how we can measure these voltages and how we can create different voltage rails for our circuits. Let's start. When you open ProChoose, you need to hover your mouse on the left side of the screen and click Terminal Mode. On Terminal Mode, you need to click Power and put it on the panel. Then, you can add Ground. There you go. We have now the 5 volts and the ground. Next that we will do is to measure if we actually have the actual 5 volts. And we can do that by clicking on the left side of the, again, of Proche software, the instruments mode. In instruments mode, you can actually see different kinds of virtual instruments. But since we are interested on measuring the DC voltage, we selected the DC voltmeter. You touch the ground as well. Then after that, to see the reading, we need to click Run Simulation. And you see the 5 volts coming out from the power node that we put earlier. Now, let's add another power rail. We need to click terminal mode again and select power and put it again on the panel. There, it's, it's a good practice on creating schematics that we put uh, labels on our voltage rails. On this one, we will put 5 volts. Just input it on the string. And then the other one, we will put the commonly used 3.3 volts. We have to put again the DC voltmeter from, from the instruments mode, connect it to the positive, then connect to the negative, and then hit simulate. Oops, there was an error. It seems that the net for 5 volts and 3.3 volts is not connected. To solve this issue, we need to click design on top and set up the power rails. You will see here that there are two voltage rails that is not connected. Now, when you drop down this, you will see what, what are the voltage rails already connected. And we need to add the 5 volts and 3.3 volts on that. You have to click new, then add 5 volts, 5V, click OK. Then we need to click here the 5 volts and click the button add. Now it's connected to the net of 5 volts. Next, we will do the same with the 3.3 volts. We click new and then we type 3.3 volts. Same process is that we need to add it on the net and the voltage is automatically assigned 3.3. Then you hit OK, then we will try to run it again to see if it works. As you see, we now get the 5 volts on our DC voltmeter. We need another one here for the 3.3 volts. Just to check it, put the ground, connect the negative, and connect the positive on the voltmeter. Then hit run again. You see there's a 5 volts and there's the 3.3 volts. Now, we have a working 5 volts and 3.3 volts rail. In case you need to use many of this voltage rail in your circuit, what you need to do is to click terminal mode again, power, put it on the panel, whatever you need, and then you can double click it and it will now be part of the drop down. You can put 3.3 or 5 whatever you need on your circuit. If you find this video helpful, please don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe on our channel. 
we will provide more of these video tutorials in the future that will be also helpful to you. Bye!